Lesson 1.4, Categorical Propositions. Our objective for this lesson is to be able to use Venn diagrams to answer questions about categorical propositions. And we're going to start by defining a few terms. Okay, so first let's define the term categorical proposition. A categorical proposition is a complete sentence that is either true or false and which asserts or denies that members of one set are members of another. Um, so a proposition is a complete sentence that is either true or false. And a categorical proposition is a proposition that asserts or denies that members of one set are members of another. Um, and there are four basic, four standard categorical propositions, and we'll talk about what those are in just a minute. Next, we have subject set. So in a categorical proposition, the subject set is the set that appears in the subject of the sentence. So remember from English class that the subject of a sentence is what the sentence is about. Um, and so in, in our case, when we find the subject of that sentence, uh, the subject of that categorical proposition is going to define a set, and that is the subject set. All right, similarly, the predicate set in a, comp a categorical proposition is the set that appears in the predicate of the sentence. Remember, the predicate is it describes something that is happening to the subject. Um, and, uh, and so the, the set that is described in the predicate of the categorical proposition is uh, what we're going to call the predicate set. All right, so now let's talk about those four standard categorical propositions. And with each of these, we've abbreviated subject set as S and the predicate set as P. And so the four standard categorical propositions are all SRP, no SRP, some SRP, and some S are not P. Uh, so an example of all SRP are would be all whales are mammals. So the subject set is the set of all whales. The predicate set is the set of all mammals. And we're in the categorical proposition is that all whales are in that set of mammals. All right, an example of no SRP would be no fish are mammals, where the subject set is fish and the predicate set is mammals. Then we have some SRP, for example, some doctors are women. Um, so the, the subject set would be doctors, the predicate set, women. And then finally, some S are not P, an example would be some teachers are not men. So the subject set is teachers, the predicate set is men. All right, now let's draw some Venn diagrams to represent each of these categorical propositions, starting with the first one, all SRP. So this Venn diagram is gonna look like our subset Venn diagram. So we're gonna have a, a larger circle with a smaller circle inside. The smaller circle is the set S, the subject set, and the larger circle is the set P, the predicate set. Um, the example that we used for this one was all whales are mammals. And so we know that if a whale, if an animal is a whale, then it is also a mammal. Um, one thing that we should note on this, however, is that um, from this categorical proposition, we can't make any determination going the other way. That is, we can't say whether or not all mammals are whales. We know from our study of biology that there are lots of mammals that are not whales, but strictly from the proposition that we've been given, all whales are mammals, um, there's nothing in that proposition that can tell us whether or not there are any other, um, there are any mammals that are not whales. So. So be careful with that. But this is what our Venn diagram is going to look like for all S, R, P. All right, the next categorical proposition is no S, R, P. And the Venn diagram for this one is going to be our disjoint sets. So we're, we're going to have a circle here and a circle here representing 
sets S and P. So these are disjoint sets. And the example that we used for this were uh, no fish are mammals. Now, unlike the all fish or all SRP example, from this one, we can make some conclusions going the other way. We know that if all, if no fish are mammals, we also know that no mammals are fish because these are disjoint sets. We know that there are no, uh, that these, uh, these two sets do not have any common members and that works both ways. All right, next, some SRP. So for some SRP, this is going to be our overlapping sets. So we're gonna draw two circles that overlap one another. Now, because the information, let's say that this is S and this is P, the information that we've been given is that some S are P. And so the one thing, the bit of information that we've been given is that there is at least one member in this region here uh, that are both S and P. Um, and that's the only region that we know something about it, with this categorical proposition. So for example, we said that uh, some doctors are women. So from this, we're gonna, we're gonna say this, the subject set is uh, doctors, predicate set is women. And so we know that, uh, that there's at least one member in this region here in the middle. We know that at least one doctor is a woman. But um, from this categorical proposition, we can't say anything else about these other regions. That is to say, we don't know if there are any um, doctors who are not women. And we don't know if there are any women who are not doctors. The only thing we can tell from this proposition, some SRP, is that there's at least one member in this overlapping region. All right, finally, some S are not P. This categorical proposition is also going to be represented by our overlapping sets, where this is S and this is P. However, we're gonna put our X over here to indicate that we know that there's at least one member in this region, um, the region that includes S but not P. So some S are not P. Um, the example that we gave is that some teachers are not men. So if our subject set is teachers, our predicate set is men, and we know that there's at least one member in this region over here um, that are uh, teachers, but not men. Um, and again, we can't say anything about these other regions. We don't know if there are, um, if we don't know if there are any men who are, who are also teachers. We don't know if there are any men who are not teachers. Um, we just know that there are some teachers who are not men. All right, hopefully this is enough to get you started on your homework for this evening. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me and I'm, I'm happy to answer them.